Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Essence E and this is the home for news and exclusive interviews. And today I'm going to be talking about the interview that I did last week with Melvin Jackson Jr. and his beautiful wife Kelly Jennerette. And I just want to say to you guys, thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedules to come on this show. You guys are really awesome and I can't wait to see the new things that you guys have coming. So thank you again. We love and appreciate you here on this show. So now we're going to be talking about them and we're going to talk about some things that you may have known and maybe some things that you guys did not know. So let's get started. First off is Melvin Jackson Jr. He is a talented comedian, writer, producer, host, and director. He was also on his shows like The Wire and Everybody Hates Chris. He was also on uh, the New Edition story where he portrayed the pioneering rapper Curtis Blow. He was also nominated for an Emmy for Outstanding Actor in a short form comedy or drama series called The Eddie Murphy Role is Mine and Not Yours. His latest film and documentary, I'm a Survivor, No Longer a Victim, is being considered for a 2022 Primetime Emmy nomination for Outstanding Documentary as well as for Outstanding Director. So please go check him out. Go show him your support. Go uh, go on YouTube and type in the Eddie Murphy role is mine and not yours. It really is funny. It's a great, it's a great story. He really does remind you of Eddie Murphy. So go check him out. Show him some love. Like it. Love it. Share it with your friends. Also, also go check out I'm a Survivor, No Longer a Victim. It will really open up your your eyes and it will really it will really make you think about what people really do go through on a daily basis and what demons that they have to fight so go check him out go show your support i will have all the links where you can find that in the description box now his beautiful wife kelly jenneret is a talented actress writer and producer she is known for her roles on grandfathered manhut deadly games and all day and all night the movie that's on netflix right now go and check that out she received a nomination for Outstanding Guest Actress in the drama series on The Handmaid's Tale. She is also and currently on the CW's hit show, All American Homecoming. So go and check her out as well. I believe that All American Homecoming, it's on the CW. Go on the, go on the CW's uh, website. Go check out those episodes. It's a really awesome show. And I just want to congratulate her because she that show has been, rene been renewed for a second season. And let's congratulate, congratulate Melvin as well for, a hit, for his documentary, I'm a Surviving no, Long no Longer a Victim, for being considered for a 2022 Primetime Emmy nomination. They are doing great things in Hollywood. So let's just let let's just take the time to really to really say thank you for all that you do for the African American community because they are doing great things. They are breaking boundaries and they are just such an awesome couple. So I want to thank thank them once again. So let's take a look at a video and they are such a hum a, a humble couple and so faithful. Let's take a look at this video. No, no, just, just, it won't just, when they call it, you know, the nominees, I will be the only one standing. Let's just say that. Oh. Well, I, I, I looked at her category on at first, you know, I was just like, let me look at her category. And I saw her and I was so excited. I just called her because I was just like, wow, like she, because she had 106, seven people in her category. So I'm like, that, this is amazing. Like my category had 19. So I had, I know I had a little bit of a chance. And so it was like, with her, I was just like, I had to call her immediately. I didn't care about me at the time. I was like, hey, nominated. And then she called me and I just thought it was a beautiful moment. So it worked out, you know, to have a beautiful story to tell. I said, babe, we need to do this video. I'm more like, let's go get it, you know, type of thing. Trying to roll this thing up and can, she's like, all right, let's do it. And so the idea was kind of how we did it. You know, let's be fun, let's do the, the, the bloopers and all that. Just kind of and make it not perfect, but fun. And so that was her being who she is and you know editing it and you know, <laughs> you know to what it is well, i was in season two episode four and maid's tale i played annie um luke's wife uh but i was betrayed by him and june and um i confront june to ask her to please stop seeing my husband because i wanted to try and make our marriage work but my husband is told that he is in love with June. Um, and so I knew that he wasn't going to stop. So I was hoping in confronting her, I would get her to see 
the error of her ways and agree with me, it didn't work out so well. It's called This Eddie Murphy Roll Is Mine, Not Yours, and um, you know, I had to come to my wife to kind of just make sure that, you know, it had the, the necessary hits that it needed to have as far as, you know, just put a little bit, and so she definitely helped me with that. And I wanted to do something, one, to, you know, pay homage to Eddie Murphy, but also, you know, it's a role that I really would love to portray one day. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to take the matter into my own hand and show how I can do it, but also take out my competition in the process. So I'm throwing people in the trunk, I'm hitting people back, just as a fun way of saying, hey, get out of my way, I'm coming through. <laughs>
singer, whatever, we're going to have mentors to mentor them and be with them the whole way through until they get to college. Just empowering us as youth, as people, and just, you know, being able to do for others as people did for me. That was really awesome. That was really awesome. And like I said, this couple is so inspirational. They do a, they do a lot for the African-American community. And like I said, I just want to thank them. I'm, I keep thanking them because they, they really are an awesome, an awesome couple. So let's take a look at, at Miss Kelly's role on All American. I'm going to give you guys a little snippet, nothing, nothing too much. You guys got to go and watch the show, go show her some support. But let's take a little snippet of this scene because it's really good. Hey, so there's something important y'all need to know. When I called Willis Cobb to get a quote, they realize the public scrutiny they'd be under. In the wake of Black Lives Matter and everything, they got scared about how people would react to a PWI taking over an HBCU. So they pulled out of the deal. No merger. Auntie, that is great news. Yeah, but there's more. Since Brinkston couldn't be merged, the trustees voted to have it sold unless enough money is raised by the end of homecoming week. As of this homecoming week? I know this is a lot to take in. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Amara, hey, I just want to say I'll miss you. You brought a lot of good to a life that had a lot of bad. Please don't try to find me. Just let me be at peace. Hey, uh, Dr. P. Was that coach? We need to find Marcus now. I think he's planning on doing something to himself. Wow, what a great scene. And like I said, you can, you can find All American Homecoming on CW Network. It really is a go, it really is a great show. So go check it out. Go also check out All American and Sister Show as well cuz they are really doing great things with that show. That show that show is awesome and I love it and I really want to promote it because we do not have a lot of African American shows on television. We really don't and I want to promote the good ones for however long as I can cuz it really is an awesome show. They deal they they talk about the issues, they deal with the issues and that is what it's all about. So and let's take a look on her journey, on Kelly Jenner's journey in Hollywood. Let's take a look. Where is your head at? What thoughts are going through your head most times of the day? Um, before yesterday, uh, I just felt really heavy. I have a 19-year-old nephew who I spoke with, and he was angry. Um, and, you know, he, he was just angry. During his lifetime, there have been so many hashtags. You know, it's been a hashtag for this person, a hashtag for that person, and he hasn't seen any real change. My pastor offered some words that were both challenging and encouraging, and it helped to put me in a better place that the pro protests need to happen because that's how we affect change. And then as a body of Christ, we need to be praying and doing the things that we need to do to also affect change. So I'm in a much better place than I was. Yet. If anyone's been paying attention to uh, the way the, just for one example, the awards, um, or any actors that call out for more diversity in casting, can you speak to your experiences in the world of entertainment yeah, you know, the first thing that comes to mind when when you bring this question up is my hair. And mm -hmm. as, as a Black woman with natural hair, with kinky hair, not everyone knows how to do that. I see counterparts. There there are no apologies. I, no, I don't like it. Like I need you to fix it. And it's, and it's done. It's a, a lot of stuff having to come into this industry and be in this industry as a black woman and the fear or the reservations of speaking up because you don't want to offend. I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. And I think now 
we're in a time where it's like, I'm not here to make you comfortable. Your current Netflix projects, Uncorked and All Day and the Night, why are those important to you? They are important to me because they are on completely different ends of the spectrum. With Uncorked, you have this regular Black family, um, and it's almost as if we just kind of pull the curtains back and get to look into their lives of this young man stepping out of what his father wants him to do and taking over the business and him wanting to be a sommelier. Is that like a pirate? No, that's a sp- Kelly Kendrick dated the Somalian. He stole her identity. Was well, she okay? I don't know. I don't be up in people's business like that. Then why did you bring it up? Then on the other end of the spectrum with all day night, getting to see the consequences of of poor decisions that are made, also understanding where those decisions come from, the lack of opportunities, the lack of resources. Job, stop, job! You just like JD, I'm done with you! We're all, um, hopefully all of us, are working hard towards change, um, making change happen. What does it look like to you? What do you want it to look like? I want it to look like actionable items. So I want us to, yes, while we are protesting, then I want us to come back, sit down and begin to creating dialogue that will hopefully in turn turn into change that will not only affect black Americans, but will affect the whole, the whole country. Wow. Amen. That was an awesome video. That awesome video. That really was an awesome video that she did. And I just hope that change does come. We all, we all need that change right now. So thank you so much for, for, for that video, Miss Kelly Jennerette, because it's important for people to know what, what we go through and how we do and how we deal with it. So thank you. So now I want to, I want to show this, this video of Melvin Jackson Jr. doing his doing one of his stand up comedian acts. So let's take a look. I'm a little upset right now. A uh, couple of weeks ago, my insurance got canceled. My health insurance. I just found out it actually was was more than a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't realize that until I went to go use it, and now I have to wait to the open enrollment October 15th. So no activities for me. No basketball. No love making, no, no, I, you know, cause you pull muscles. So, you know, you gotta be careful. So I'm a little upset about that. And um, I'm upset about being short. <laughs> being short thing. And I didn't realize how short I was until I had a 16 year old who's six feet tall. And um, he looks older than me. So I look like his little brother. I hug my head is in his armpit. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not a good thing. And um, ladies found it funny. They want to put drinks on top of my head. No, tall woman top it. It's not funny. It's not funny. Um, just realized that I, I, I live with a uh, freeloader. He doesn't pay rent. And he just happens to be my son. <laughs> I have to put, like, how do I have to put my name on stuff and you don't pay any, any. So I, I find myself putting my name on stuff. Just starts putting not yours. Or thing, not yours, you know. It's just what I have to do. And I know some of you guys are looking. Um, I'm not um, Eddie Murphy's uh, unadopted child. <laughs> Let's just get that clear. I, I used to get upset when people come to me and say like Eddie Murphy because not that anything's wrong with him. It's just when someone says that you like someone rich and famous and you need one of those things, it's no longer a compliment. It's an insult. But I had to start embracing it. I started embracing it, you know. So now I start going to places and saying I'm Eddie Murphy Jr. because I started getting stuff for free. You know, I get seated faster. You know what I mean? Girls want to give me some. I'm like, okay, all right. They want me to do the laugh. I'm like, <laughs> you got it. Sick with chocolate, chocolate. I'll be anywhere for all day. You keep on giving me free drinks? Yes, turn up, turn up. That's what we doing. That's what we doing. <laughs> that was really funny. And like I, and like I said, this couple is a, is a really great couple. And I'm just so grateful I had them on my show last week. All their achievements and all their accomplishments. Like I said, they're doing great things in Hollywood. And now I want you guys to take a look at this other video when they were 
when they were at the when, when they were at the Emmys and let, let's just take a look. I'm so sorry, you guys. We are having technical difficulties. We are having technical difficulties. One moment, please. Sorry about that, you guys. You know that happens. That happens sometimes when you're when you're streaming anything. So let's take a look at this with Melvin Jackson Jr. and his beautiful Kelly Jennerette at the Emmys. Let's look. We have uh, Kelly and uh, Melvin. Congratulations. Thank you. You're nominated tonight. Yes. What was that oh. moment like when you were first time you were nominated? Well, I found out first uh, myself. I went online and saw that I was in this amazing category with Diana Riggs, Cecily Tyson, Viola Davis, Terry Jones, and it was overwhelming. He called and said, thank you, you're an Emmy nominated actress. And then I asked him if he knew he didn't. I went to this category and saw his name there and told him that he was nominated. Well, I mean, it's so rare for couples to be nominated in different years. It's even rarer to be nominated in the same year. So, what has like the past month been like? It's been incredible. Great ride, you know, yeah, for us right. to share this moment together. It's, you know, once we were like, oh my God, there's so much going on, but we're also enjoying it. The moment where we can look at each other, we just collect ourselves and then continue on. Have you thought about like what you would say if like either of you win, both of you win? There's some words floating around in my brain, and I'm praying that if I do win, they all come together to form a coherent sentence or two. For me, definitely thank you, my wife. And that's part of it. I won't give away the rest of my speech. I have it in my head. No spoilers. No leaks today. So would either of you be jealous if you don't win, but the other does? No. We're both winners. Yeah, he wins, I win. I win, he wins. And I already won because I got married her, so I got the girl. Do you have a spot or two spots walked out in your house yet? We don't. We don't. But I think I'm probably, if I win, I'm going to keep it on the floor so that I have to get down on my knees to, to see it and remember that that's what started it all. Uh, so you're on camera, so obviously. Uh, any word on season three? Will you be back? I haven't gotten any word on season three. No spoilers here. There's nothing that I know, but I'm hoping Annie comes back. Maybe you can get him on and then you can be down there next year for the same show. On the same show, right. <laughs> all right, well, Getting you good luck today. Enjoy. Aw, so awesome. They're so beautiful. And I just want I just want to thank them once again and thank them for all that they do. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say thank you for tuning in to this episode because it's very important to celebrate our African American brothers and sisters in every single thing that they do. So thank you guys for tuning in with us today. And Sunday, I will be back with news, popular news of the week. So be in tune for that. I have a lot in store for for, for that episode. So thank you guys for watching for watching this show. And I'm so sorry for the interruption that happened. <laughs> Because sometimes when you're streaming, you know what, that happens. You always pray that that doesn't, but it's streaming. What 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 can you say? Sometimes the internet be acting funny, okay? So, <laughs> so thank you once again, and I love and I appreciate everyone on here. So please go down at the bottom. Before I leave, go down at the bottom and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share it, make comments, you know, you know, j just show your support for this channel because I really do try to work hard and bring to bring you guys great content. So please love, like, share, you know, subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that. So thank you guys for tuning in. And remember, you always have purpose. Remember, go, go for your dreams, go for your purpose. Don't let anyone try to limit you in the things that you know, you know that you want to do. You just keep going. Don't be moved by fear. Do not be moved by fear, but always keep going and always know that you have a purpose in Christ. So thank you guys for tuning in today. God bless all of you.
हाजी तो पड़े ना फर्क चाहे मिले मुझे हार जी स्ट्रगल वाले दिनों में हाँ करे कोई याद नहीं अब करते हैं कॉल जो पहले थे मेरे साथ नहीं छोड़ा साथ लेकिन कोई बड़ी बात नहीं तभी तेज रखी मैंने हेटरों की हार्ट बीट बेटा ऑन द टॉप